these things I tell people, ask the question, don't give comments. But uh, I don't want to get out of the room um, without your saying something about Henry Dumas and your work with Henry Dumas as executor for his estate. And that's essentially my question. Could you talk about Henry Dumas for, yes. for just a time? In a nutshell, um, I met Henry Dumas, uh, Chairman and I met him in August of 1967. Nine months later, uh, a little fewer than nine months later, he was shot to death under what remain unclarified circumstances um, in the subway at 135th and, and Lenox, now Malcolm X Boulevard. And um, I, um, we bonded as, as, you, as we were wont to do in the 60s. I mean, brothers quickly and um, I remember the day after Martin Luther King was killed. We were together the evening that Martin Luther King was killed. The day afterwards, we took Henry to buy a weapon. To, you know, East St. Louis is a, you know, everybody has a gun. <laughs> and uh, so we knew it would be, a, you know, difficult. So we took him to buy a pill, Pearl Hound 32. Um, he, um, um, some days later, he went to New York to become, to talk to publishers about a possible book contract and to attend the wedding of a friend, and we never saw him again until I looked over in the casket at him um, uh, later in, in May, early early uh, June. He was killed on May 23rd. Um, I was asked by a man named uh, Edward Crosby and a man named Donald Henderson, our bosses at the Experiment in Higher Education, where Dumas had come to teach and where I taught with George Ladner and Catherine Dunham and others. Um, to pull together his work, and they convinced Southern Illinois University into publishing kind of a, a test um, uh, edition of each one of, of poetry and stories. Um, I thought that was it. 1970 came out. I went on from Oberlin to California to um, become poet in residence there, and I said, that's it. I never knew that 43 years later I would still be executor of his estate. By the way, his wife, his widow and I just legalized it for my estate, you know, and her estate because we just had a, we just had a lady gentleman agreement. Um, so we just legalized it, which means that the executors, my nephew and my youngest daughter will, uh, will be continuing as the executor of the Dumas estate. Let me say too that one day they will make a million dollars or more. I know from what Tony and I have talked about, Tony Morrison was the chief uh, advocate of his work. She was the senior editor at Random House, and I always referred to her as the in-house editor and myself as the outhouse editor. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I have, a, I have a decade of correspondence with Tony Morrison that I, you can imagine is quite valuable to any, any collection. Um, so, so over the years, uh, uh, Tony went to Quincy's house and saw the books from SIUE, and she said, where can, I, where can I get in touch with this guy? And Quincy said, well, my friend is the editor, and I was in California, so we, he put us together. And then she said, is there anything else? I said, yes, but it's just fragments. There's nothing else that you want to publish. But she has the eye, see? So she said, well, send it to me. I said, she said, this is brilliant. I said, oh, it is? <laughs> and, uh, she, uh, and so out of that came four more books, reprints of the one and then other books. Um, and uh, we, we worked with four publishers now, Southern Illinois University, Carbondale, um, Random House, Thunder's Mouth Press, which went with Avalon, and now Coffee House Press. And I just thought it would be over after that first time. Uh, we wanted to feed his wife and two sons. His sons committed suicide. They wrestled with it. They never could come to grips with why he was killed, um, shot to death by a policeman. Um, and at that time, a white policeman. Uh, Mrs. Dumas and I decided not to play up that part after a while because a lot of people just grabbed that. There's so many people getting killed. And we didn't want that to, um, to um, obliterate anything or to confuse what we were trying to do, so we just stopped being put it in the back. We just first to say, shot to death by a white policeman. I mean, that was common to say that. So we stopped and decided, no, no, we didn't want that, that, that jacket on him, you know, and on his art. Um, so 
we're we're now there's some there's still some stuff. Uh, the Dumas, uh, something I'm glad that uh, happened before my death <coughs> is that the Dumas family, uh, the Porter family, he married into the Porter family. Uh, uh, I mean, he, the maiden name of his mother was Porter, and. Uh, they own some property, and there's a house, there's a building there that will be the Henry Dumas um, Cultural Center and Reading Room. Mm -hmm. And we, with Maya Angelou's help, she wrote a letter. We did. We got our first seventeen thousand dollars grant last year. Mm -hmm. so. well, uh, thank you very much. And on books, that. Uh, the latest, the book in print is is Echo Tree from Coffee House Press. Uh,